You've been working with your real estate agent submitting offers here and there, but all of your offers were not getting accepted. So you've got tired of resale or existing homes and then you decided to just do new construction instead, thinking that it will be easy, right? Is it really? Well, I'll tell you what we know about new construction homes, so stick around. And oh, we'll give you some tips for you to have a smooth closing. It's coming right up. Hi there, my name is Lynn Alvarez, a realtor with the Alley Group Real Estate in Charlotte, North Carolina. My husband Albert and I have been in the real estate business for a combined 26 years selling the Greater Charlotte, helping you confidently buy your first home, second home, or even your forever home. So you are now thinking maybe a new build or a new construction home will be a better option than the existing home or resale. Before you jump into a conclusion, let me give you some insights about the step that you are going to take. Prices. Building a new home is much more expensive due to the prices of construction materials that have gone through the roof due to the pandemic. Prices of lumber, roof, windows, doors, cabinets, drywall, cement, and many other materials used for building a home continue to rise. There is so much demand from buyers that builders are trying to keep up with their inventory and to cope with the supply chain crisis. As in economics, law of supply and demand, if there is high demand and low supply or inventory, prices are going to go up. That is currently happening in the housing market nationwide. Availability. One of the issues we are having in Charlotte and other parts in North Carolina right now for new construction is the availability of home sites or lots. There are two groups of new construction. One is called the builder's inventory or spec home, where they already pick out the home site, floor plan, structural, and design studio options. When the builder puts a house on the market, they call them quick move-in or QMI. This will not allow you to have the opportunity to make changes. The second group is the to-be-built home. This is where you will be able to pick out your lot or home site, pick your floor plan, choose the structural options, and when you have signed the contract, you will be able to pick your design studio options. This was very common before the pandemic. This type of new construction is very rare nowadays compared to two years ago because the builders can't accommodate the demand from buyers. However, there are only a few home builders that are still doing this in our market. They limit the release of the home sites to make sure that they meet the expectations of home buyers. Some builders do the lottery where all the buyers are going to be present when the builder's agent pick the lucky buyer that can start building a house in a specific community. Other builders are auctioning the lots to the highest and best bidder. So if you really want to purchase a new home, your best bet is a builder's spec home or inventory or quick move-in homes. Price increases every month. Aside from the already high base price, builders are passing on the increase of cost of materials to the buyers. Since the beginning of last year, 2021, we have seen builders raising the base price every number of homes they sell in the community on a monthly basis. We are talking about $5,000 to $10,000 increases. Some of our clients who are waiting to finish their home were surprised to know that they have already made some good amount of equity in their house that is still under construction. Builders have their own contracts. When you submit an offer for resale or existing home here in North Carolina, we use a standard form from our association, so we pretty much know what to expect during the transaction. In new construction, it is very different because builders have their own purchase agreement that buyers will have to sign. Be mindful that some builders have added some clauses in the contract such as price escalation clause, cancellation clause, or even the building completion. When you are represented by a realtor in the home building process, 
Make sure that your real estate agent reviews the contract to see if there are no clauses in the purchase agreement. I've heard some horror stories about increasing the prices even after the contract has been signed by both parties. And that is the escalation clause that allows the builder to increase the price. I also heard builder canceling contracts six months into the process and some are weeks before closing with or without costs. And it's so sad that some of them have already sold their current homes. It's critical for buyers to understand what they're signing. Fortunately, it has never happened to any of our clients in the Charlotte housing market. Tips for you. I have some tips for you to have a smooth closing, no hiccups and no regrets. First is to make sure you are working with a realtor who knows the area, the community and the construction process. The on-site agent you see in the model home is the builder's rep and works for the builder. You need someone on your side to represent you and be present in every stage of construction. A knowledgeable and trusted real estate agent will fight for you to make sure you are not on the losing end. Your real estate agent can help you navigate the process from showing you different communities, to signing the contract, to attending inspections, and to final walkthroughs. Second, get a copy of the contract to review if there are clauses that can be a problem later. If there are, be prepared for the consequences. Make sure you have a plan of action. What worries me is the escalation clause and the builder's right to cancel anytime. You don't want to be one of those buyers with horror stories having confrontation with your builder that end up in court. Third, ask the right questions such as, how much is the deposit? Is the deposit refundable and at one point it isn't refundable? How can you back out of the contract? Is this really the builder that you want to deal with? Fourth, ask your real estate agent to prepare some comps that sold in the neighborhood for the last six months to make sure that the house you are building will appraise. I'm very confident it will appraise because of the price increases that they do every month. In our Charlotte market for new construction, we have never heard any instance that the new build does not appraise. Well, you know, every market is different. So just to be sure, your agent's legwork is vital to a happy closing. And fifth is to find out if the builder's lender has competitive rates and offering incentives such as closing costs. We've done many new constructions and what we do is to tell our clients to compare the loan estimates they get from their own lender with the builder's lender. I'm telling you that in most cases, the builder's lenders always win. So what do you think? Is it easier to buy a new construction than a resale or existing home? Please put your comment below and let me know if you have had a good or bad experience with your builder. If you have any questions about this topic, please let us know. We are happy to help. If you think this video gives you some clarity about new construction homes, please give us a thumb up and leave a comment below. We would also appreciate if you could subscribe to our channel so we can continue providing you informative real estate videos. Please click on our photo to subscribe and watch our other videos. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you again on the next video. Have a great day!